Hello, now we are on the option strategy part two. That means we are looking here into credit debit spreads, especially when it comes to earning strategies. Have fun. So on the print screen, you see again that um, Tasty Trade allows you to uh, open the strategy, short put vertical or short call vertical which is nothing else than this kind of credit spread on both sides. I mean a credit sp spread on the put side or a credit spread on the call side. More or less it's the same uh, thing that you are selling uh, a, a, a put first, which is nearer to the actual price or here sell a call and then you make as a protection buying a put uh, which uh, has a lower strike or a call which has a higher strike. So when you see here, which is very nice uh, uh, explained, is that you would have to uh, you would have a get a premium of 0 0.45 or let's say 45 dollars, uh, and your loss is 55 dollars because you understand from 102 to 103 is a full point times 100 shares, so that would be 100 dollars. So in other words, you can do this strategy by knowing that my maximum loss is 55. You can see that too, that actually the margin or whatever tasty trade as a, as a broker ask you just 55 or maybe 56, 57 dollars as a kind of margin because it's always, uh, you cannot uh, lose more. That would be the same here on the call side or put side. So you would receive 43 and your maximum loss is 57. This looks really nice. Both look very nice. That um, is almost a 50% ratio that uh, you get the profit. But we should not forget that those strikes, what you see here and here, are very near to the actual price. And actually, Amazon on the on those days will bring some earning results. So in other words, the earning results mean that the volatility is high, meaning that the stock really can move up and down. So what happened is you may have a kind of lucky draw doing um, a credit spread on calls and the stock would go down. Yes, you got your profit. But on the other hand, if the earnings would be really well, then obviously that you would have been um, on your loss side with this 57. But let's look into the next uh, screenshot. Because uh, especially when you don't know now what direction uh, you would expect the earnings of Amazon, well, why not doing a combination of a call and a put spread called Iron Condor? So in other words, what you say to yourself, okay, never mind what the earnings will be, I just try to do on both sides. And this makes sense because you get twice, let's say, the premium. You get the premium on the call side as well as on the put side. So it's always that you add these two premiums and you would get now 87, which is interesting. So meaning that your maximum profit is 87 and your loss is only uh, only $13 per, per leg. So in other words, um, whatever would happen with Amazon, you can only lose one side, either you lose on the call or put side. So you look here again, what Tasty Trace is offering you, you through this bracket button is that they would execute you the whole order with a 485 credit and then they would put you a, a profit. So in other words, when uh, those uh, options would drop and that would have a sum, a, a sum of 45, they would uh, cover it with a profit or and here they put the loss at 113 we saw before that the loss cannot be higher than 100, but it's always that Tasty Trade makes here a kind of um, small um, protection in a way that if you add, let's say it could it could be more because of the call of, of the uh, bid and ask spread, so it would be 113, or as you said, you will not uh, actually enter any stop loss and you will look it by yourself, but um, uh, obviously it looks nice. Now maybe the question is why we get such a high premium? Well, because if you have seen maybe before the strikes are really near to the actual price. So out of experience we see that 
these stocks sometimes move up to 10 20 percent up or down so even you have now uh, the, the possibility to get 85 but probably you will be executed on one side meaning that you would have a loss anyway on a call or, call or put side at 100 so it's nice but then at the end you still are, are, are on a loss side maybe by 13 or 15 points this is actually the reason why you get really attractive premiums but on the other hand you need to consider that Amazon is a stock really moves so fast what I have here is nothing else than a debit spread uh, that means we are not selling now this uh, strategy like a call spread we are buying actually put or call spread so in other words um, we are buying more or less the at the money option and selling an out of the money option or yeah more or less so we are paying up front and hoping let's say that the stock will move because it's always that we paid already 130 so the stock needs to move that we can have this maximum profit of 120 so the stocks definitely would have to move here over 167.50 or on the downside over 160 so then it makes really prof uh, it makes really sense to do this strategy as well before we said uh, the combination of a call put uh, a credit so you can do the same as a combination of a call put debit spread so we call it a reverse iron condor uh, that means you pay really upfront let's say here in an example 187 but seeing now that you would only have a maximum profit of, of 0.63 it doesn't really make sense to do this kind of reversed iron condor I mean the normal iron condor I would understand to do it but the reversed one well I would say that makes really no sense if you see that the loss is two times more possible as the, uh, than the profit then really that I feel that then I would not uh, touch this but as I said call spreads uh, or, or put spreads on earning uh, dates are very interesting I certainly will do a case study and showing you uh, what are the possibilities in doing this uh, when a big company will come up with the earnings so far option strategies part two is explained with the credit and debit spreads so again any question just come up and send it to me we are going on now with part three and part four so hope to see you again see you bye bye